Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Um, I'm just recovering from a cold, so please forgive me if I cough through this. Um, I'm going to try my hardest not to. I wanted to discuss today uh, how we can modify images, so image overlays, and um, they seem to be a massive trend at the moment. And um, if you see, here's an example website on awards, and these images are colorized. So this is a very common trend nowadays, and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do something like this. We can even take a look at this example, which is just a uh, an image with a gradient overlay on it. And once again, I just want to show you how easy it is to do these two very simple but effective techniques within Photoshop. So we have a picture of Jon Snow here, and the first thing we're going to do is colorize it. So on the right hand side, you can see how easy this is going to be. All you have to do is click on Create Hue Saturation and um, click Colorize. And there you go. You can pretty much play around with any color you like. Uh, I tend to do something along the lines of purple. I'm not sure why. Um, I just feel it looks better. And you can play around with this as much as you like. Um, so that's it really. That's how simple it is to colorize an image within Photoshop. So that's one. Let's get rid of him. And now we're going to do the gradient overlay. So just as simple, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new layer. Uh, we're going to call that gradient overlay. And we're going to hold down our left click, click the gradient tool. Already got some colors preset there. I'm going to hold shift and click at the bottom and then drag my mouse up to the top and then let go. And then I'm just going to reduce the opacity over here and maybe even include a white background behind Jon Snow. I'm going to just quickly change that back to, back to Paint Bucket and just go BG. And we're going to reduce the opacity of Jon Snow. So, I mean, that's how simple it is. And, you know, you can overlay text on this and um, it's so simple to do these things and it's really good to have in your arsenal as a, a web designer. So I hope this helps and please like and subscribe below.